biggest dickus. made it it's a hard knot I think I've made it a little bit too late if I'm honest Ooh, gotta get past this boggy area as it's just going a bit dark so I didn't really want I wanted to spec it out first where I was going to camp but good thing is there's nobody here which is Bonus! Brosy bonus! <laughs> what age was Bruce Forsyth when he died? 89? Higher! Higher! <laughs> and the jump! I'm getting a little bit anxious already. It's staying here tonight because the rumours are <laughs> when it goes dark, you can hear legions of soldiers marching up and down over there, which apparently up there is the parade ground. So I will I will let a bit of loose stuff go in the night I did plan to do with this, this with Gary a while ago we were up for it never got round to it so this is gonna be it I hope well I'll spec it out first and then get my stuff up I don't know whether it's gonna be a dry spot or what because it's the Lake District. It's been raining. Come on. You think Adrian had been here? Not Adrian Mole. 
that Adrian fella. Hell of a good bricky, apparently. Well, you can just imagine them, all these soldiers. I think that flat bit there is the parade ground. And then they'd all come right back into barracks. Biggest dickus. Wow. Wow. I'm liking that. Weird how the... I did notice this on uh, some pictures. It's weird how the outside, the wall, that sounds like a Roger Waters thing. Is all sort of red and blah 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 and browns, and yet inside is nice and green. Isn't that weird? Well, while there's a Roman theme to this sort of camp, I'll have to recite a few lines from the life of Brian when was it Michael Palin was playing Caesar, and and he got the uh, centurions to to laugh obviously one of them was biggest dickus and he was <laughs> he was watching the mouths creasing and going because if they laughed they were going to go well he was going to throw them to the floor and then he hit them with uh, incontinentia incontinentia buttocks now I'm just open AI doesn't pick up that phrase on YouTube, you know what they like with this AI. Oh no, that's copyright lines. That belongs to handmade films. And then what they'll have to do is send a robot from the future to uh, Liverpool, obviously. But you're gonna get the big barely blokey one. I want, I want the woman one, really. And she'll have to come and stop me, obviously getting in the car tonight and coming up here to recite the lines. Um, I'm not sure I've got any weaponry either. I've got a wooden spoon. Uh, maybe a sword up here somewhere, buried. Ah, you know. What about, what, about, what about in there for a camp? No one will be able to see me. Plus I can get the candles going which would keep the midges away. It's sort of a high spot, isn't it? To look down over my kingdom. And, uh, and all like that. Hi right guys, um, <clears throat> this is where I am for the night in Hard Knot Roman Fort. Throw him to the floor. There's the tentacle. Uh, don't know what it is. Wild Country, Zeph Zephos. Pretty rubbish. It's steaming up already. Nothing I've done, by the way. There's my little kitchen table. <coughs> Candles, etc. So I'm surrounded by a nice protective wall, which will keep the legions of soldiers out who want to do bad things to me because they've been away from their wives for six months. What's going on over there? Just had a weird experience with some sheep. I was just sort of setting up. It was getting dark. I'd be head to torch on and I could just see these lights. 
coming towards me, I was going, what can that be? It's either walkers, but they're going very fast. It can't be a car, because that would follow the road, which is down there, somewhere, over the wall. And then I was like, okay, whoever it is, you'll just have to, they'll have to put up with me, or I'll have to put up with them. And uh, it turned out it was the sheep's eyes. So I know that for the future. And stupid me, I've forgot my GoPro batteries. So I only had one, which is now ran out. <laughs> and now I'm on big camera, big boy camera. There's where I'm sleeping. It's not much cop, but it'll do because the ground's dead soft anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm on Strongbow original cider, which has been in the fridge since Christmas <laughs> because I don't drink. But if I have a couple of these, it'll put me to sleep, and then whatever happens with the soldiers in the night happens. <sighs> Incontent and what was it? <laughs> I can't get it. I never remember it. It's incontinentia. Yes, she has she has a wife, you know. Incontent and in, I can't say that word. Fucking you know. hell. She has she has a wife, you know. Do you know what her name is? Her name is Incontinentia. <laughs> Legions of soldiers laughing. Incontentia, I can't say it. Incontinentia buttocks. Take it away. I think it's just gone nine o'clock. And um, I'm just finishing my cider. Hopefully this will put me to sleep. I've got another one there, so that doesn't do the trick. Um. <laughs> well, we're, I mean, while we're in we're, we're in Rome, Roman Central Park, the hub of the Roman Empire, even. So yeah, <laughs> Monty Python. I know the script writer is brilliant. Let's give the 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 most powerful leader of the free world, not the free world, because he went that free. The powerful, le powerfulest leader of the known world, with millions of acres of land, they he'd won and things, legions of men, and I know. Let's give him a speech impediment. Throw him to the floor. Brilliant. Do something about that speech impediment, oh, Sonny. Anyway, hard not. So this one, I had planned it with Gary about eight years ago. We talked about it and we thought that would be great that. Just to be here where thousands, well no thousands, it was, was it 500 men were stationed here to stop Adrian doing what he was doing? Or the Scots or the Vikings, I don't know. I haven't read up on it. But just to be here. No. And you reckon um, overnight you can hear the legions marching up on the parade ground. So, yeah, that'll keep me awake. So, yeah, Gary can't be with us, but that one's for you, Gary. I know you enjoyed it. Rocket man. I don't think I'm going to eat me, um, I've got some rice and vegetable curry, but, where is it, yeah, Uncle Bendo, Uncle Bendover and some Asda's, oh no, not Asda's, it's actually Prince's, I've actually gone up market, Prince's, plant-based, Chicken curry. But if I have that now, at my <laughs> dispo, 
disposable stomach. I'll be up with acid all night. So maybe that goes back in the bag and I might just leave it till tomorrow. Maybe in the morning and just have the cider. Because that's probably worth half a half a lamb chop. Yeah, so I've done it. Crossed it off my list. As I say, the uh, last time I was going to do it, I got here and there was other guys here, some young lads, and they were um, they were on the the happy smoke, playing music, and it just wasn't my scene. So I left them to it, and I went back up the hill and found a little pitch up there. And they were uh, they had a motorbike and I think it was a GTI uh, VW Golf GTI. They were bombing it up this pass, up and down. <laughs> Local lads, but hey, we've all been there. We've all been young. And so I, I got out the way, behind a little hill, kept myself to myself. Even that was a good night, though. But <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> I am here. And I don't think anyone's going to join me because it's now pitch black. <laughs> oh, yes. <clears throat> I just had a failed attempt to um, take some pictures of the Roman port. I went up the hill with my camera, set it on bulb mode, ran around the fort like a knobhead with a big LED light. And uh, nah, what a waste of time. I'll show, I'll show you the picture now. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> I need more practice. <laughs> uh, I don't even think the drone will pick it up because the lens is not very good for night, night shooting. Oh, fuck off, spider. Oh, that's all I need. Where the fuck have you come from? Fuck off. <laughs> now, nobody taught me how to fucking... Oh, shit. What am I going to do? Do I just kill it? And then that... I don't want to kill it, but... I did. Because... I don't know what it's going to do. Sorry, spider. Oh, good morning. Good morning, shiny happy people holding hands. Oh. I've been up for about 15 minutes contemplating. <sighs> Got a bit of sleep. And the inside of the tent's flooded. Well, when I say flooded, the condensation, but that's just normal. Isn't it? Oh, the joys of camping. And everything gets wet. This is quite misty out there. <sighs> I didn't hear nothing in the night anyway. Centurion wise. Um, just a bit of snoring. That's what I thought that was. Am I in the barracks here? And I'm hearing ghost snoring. No, it wasn't, it was the sheep on the other side of the wall. Make some funny noises in the night, them things. I don't know what was going on. I can't say it was. Uh, there must have been sheeping. Right, I'll see you in a minute, I'm having a brew. Shiny happy people. Oh, nearly fell off me, me uh, makeshift chair. Oh, I got me brew. Got some sleep last night. Wasn't too bad. 
nose is a bit stuffy. Uh, so, nothing happened last night, Centurion wise. I think, I'll check later. Um, although I did hear snoring. Uh, though that's not me, because I'm awake. I'm in, I'm in the barracks of the uh, Centurions and it's ghost snoring. Imagine the noise. Anyway, what's that? It turns out it was the sheep next door on the other side of the wall. <laughs> Leave no Tracy Beaker or Tracy Island. There you go. All done. All done. And that mist isn't going to clear. Well, we are about, we are a few hundred meters up, so this is technically clouds. God, I'm some kind of meteorologist. Meteorologist. Meteor. Orologist or orologist. Of course, if you were a Roman soldier, you'd be sneaking out the gate of a night to go and meet Gladys down at the old bull and bush or the bathhouse. Well, it won't eat grass, will it? Now, this is the bit I'm interested in. No, not this, not the massage. This is the boiler room. I just read. And the boiler was over here somewhere. And I think there was a draft coming in somewhere. And then obviously the, uh, the heat went under the floors. And heated the water, etc, etc. Down at the back is the plunge, plunge pool. Uh, no diving or heavy petting. Maximus. Maximus again. Up to his old tricks. Wow. Wow. And that was the sauna room. You have to pay a few extra dinar to get in there. Get your paws cleaned out. Do you do, don't you do? So, join me next time. Can't wait. I know you. I know you're eager. Oh, when's the next video coming out? Oh, are you up, Dave? Can't wait to see where you're going to go again. Uh, the next one might be. Not promising. Castle Crag. Not Castle Crag. Is it Castle Crag? I don't know. The way one where all the slates are. I can't remember this kind of stuff. Don't be expecting too much, will you? There's a load of slates anyway, and uh, it looks quite mysterious. With all these bits of slates are all piled up. Which is quite weird. Now listen, 
Listen when you shake it. Hear that change in tone? Yeah, there's, there's that change in tone. So we're going to go the one where all the slates are. I went there a while ago. I ended up building my own little slate castle. Did you do, 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 do? Oh, you'll get fed up. You will get fed up with that. <laughs> they do, though, don't they, though? <laughs> 